to the channel and i hope you guys are doing absolutely fine i know most of you guys are waiting for this lab solution so this lab is now fixed so here it is if we try to complete this lab using a command line then we won't get a full score and that's why we have to use a console way but don't worry this lab is very easy first of all just me log in your credentials and once you're done with that then just me open this application url this one like this way okay now just me come back over here click on the checkbox and then just me click on agree and continue now here just me search for the cloud run over here like this way and you can see cloud run function open this thing in new tab okay now here just me wait click on this write a function over here now for all this value i will recommend you please watch the video carefully first of all just me come back over here click on this assign to me so this is a task number 1 and this is a task number 2 so just me click on the task number 1 over here now just me copy this value like this way and paste over here as a service name just me scroll down and from here you can see region just me choose a region which mention over here so as you can see for me the given region is us central one so i'm going to choose that if you just me click over here you will get that option only okay now just me scroll down and from here you can see run time so just me come back over here and from here you can see what is mentioned it mention as a go so just me come back over here click over here just me scroll up and from here you can see go so i will recommend you just me go for 1.22 or 1.23 so i am going with the 1.22 this version okay just me scroll down from here just me just allow an authentication like this way again just me scroll down over here and then just me click on this down arrow okay now here we have to do couple of changes just me scroll down over here and from here you can see second generation just me choose this from here just me choose five okay now again just me scroll up and from here you can see security click over here and for the service account just me choose arcade hero service account okay once you done with all these things if we just me come back over here and from here you can see we have done all these things over here now what here do we have to just me click on this create button for that just me come back over here and then just me click on this create button now it will take a couple of seconds meanwhile what we will do we will do the task number 2 so just me open this cloud run function in new tab again like this way so you can see it's creating now just me click on this write a function over here again if you just me come back over here you can just me click on this mark as completed so it will come back over here now just me click on the task number 2 again just me copy this value again just me come back over here just me paste the value over here now for the task number 2 what you do we have to add a trigger so again just me choose a region which mentioned on your lab instruction page for the run time just me come back over here and from here just me choose a run time so what is the run time it's a go so again come back over here from here just me choose the same version what we have chose previously 1.22 again scroll down click on this allow authentication and as i said we have to add a trigger so just me click over here and from here just me choose a cloud storage trigger over here just like this okay wait for a second and from here you can see for the bucket name come back scroll down and from here you can see this bucket name copy this come back over here and paste over here like this way and from here you will get a option to choose or otherwise it will already chosen for you okay now just me scroll down here you don't have to make any other changes just me click on this save button so you have done with this part scroll down over here like this way again just me click on this down now you scroll down over here from here just me choose a second generation and from here just me choose a five this time we don't have to make the changes in the service account because if you come back over here like this way and you can see it's already mentioned over here we don't have to make any other changes we have to choose a compute engine default service account and if we just me come back over here and if we just me check over here you can see it's already chosen so for the task number 2 we don't have to make any other changes in the service account now just me click on this create button now just me wait and watch and as you can see i'm getting this kind of error if you also face this error don't worry just me come back over here and just me click on the check my progress for both the tasks you will get a score without any issue and if the score is not updated for any particular task no need to worry just me wait for a couple of minutes and you will get a full score over here for sure now if you are wondering how i get the check my points over here so just me open a new tab and just me type how to enable check my progress button on quick lab you will get this video just me watch it and you will understand that so that's it for this video if you have any doubts or any questions do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys